of course, are ghost hunters from the uh, uh, paranormal investigators uh, from uh, the uh, East Washington Paranormal Group. And tonight we have addressing us uh, Charles and Angela. Come on up here, folks. Get closer here. Uh, uh, Charles and Angela, what have you brought to show us in ways of uh, in the ways of your ghost hunting equipment uh, this week? Uh, real quick, this is just a regular digital recorder. We use it for EVPs, electronic voice phenomena. You record and ask questions, go back and listen for uh, spirits to answer you. This is a uh, K2 meter. It reads EMF energy. What is EMF energy? It's electromagnetic field. So when you see a spike, and you can rule out anything like a refrigerator or a microwave or whatever, you always take a base reading. When you see a spike that's not attributed to the environment, you might have paranormal activity going on. And then, we use a regular mag flashlight. We turn the top of the head where it's just barely off, and we ask yes, no questions. Are you here with us tonight? Can you please turn the flashlight on? And we get a lot of good responses to that. Actually, I'm a witness to that because uh, they asked me to join it up with them in Greenwood Cemetery. And, uh, you know, I thought it was ridiculous. And then they turned on, they put the light and it wasn't even on on the headstone and started asking questions of, uh, of a particular paranormal entity that they had targeted. And they'd asked it to blink twice for yes or once for no. I mean, it was just flabbergasted. This past week I was in contact with Mr. Davenport. Oh, what, tell us what you've been up to in the last week since we were here. So I went up to the to the uh, steam plant grill where the fire started, and I was using a K2 meter, and we got some crazy spikes. I tried to rule out wiring or anything underneath the sidewalk. I was right beside the, the marker, and the K2 meter was just going crazy. Um, also, I went to the steam plant, the smoke stack itself, and I got a lot of good communication using the flashlight. I would ask questions, did you die in the fire? And it came on. Now, I went from there, are you male, so forth and so on. We got a lot of good communication uh, right there. So your uh, scientific approach is verifying basically some of the, the the, the folk uh, history of Spokane that we've been talking about. Yes, sir. We have. It's precious. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Ghost Hunters. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. Thank you. Now, Mary, strange Mary. <laughs> <laughs>